these three types of transport, you guys really need to think about the difference between a solute and a solvent. What is the universal solvent? Water. So a solute is the other stuff in it, maybe sugar, maybe salt. It's what's dissolved in that water, okay? So first let's talk about a hypertonic, okay? We've got a cell. And inside that cell, we have less solute. So that's like salt. And we have more water. On the outside of that cell, we're going to have more solute, and we're going to have less water. So what's going to happen to that water? Is it going to leave or come in? It's going to leave. Why? Yes, it wants to balance itself out. We've got a really high concentration on the inside and a low concentration on the outside. So we're going to have that water move out. When that water moves out, what happens to the cell? Cell gets smaller. Exactly right. Okay? For isotonic, it's very different. Because when you have a cell, it has an equal amount or concentration of both solute and solvent or water, okay? Mm -hmm. So on the outside, we've got the exact same amount, equal amount or concentration of solute and water. So what's going to happen to this cell? Yeah, it's just going to stay balanced. Now, if it ever becomes imbalanced, it's going to go back and forth, okay? So, keeps balance. What do we call that when a cell's at its perfect, stable, balanced point? Equilibrium or? Homeostasis, exactly right. Now, the last one is hypotonic. Think of a hippo, okay? It's going to get fat. So with hypotonic, we've got a cell, it's got more solute, less water or solvent. On the outside, we've got less solute, more water. So what's going to happen to this guy? Where's the water going to move? To the inside. So H2O moves in. So what's going to happen to that cell size? If the water's moving in, it's going to get fat. Cell gets larger. Okay? So now all you have to do is you can flip this down. And you can say isotonic, hypotonic. 